Philippine News Today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. First Lady Melania Trump made a special stop on her way home from Asia to visit the Air Force Base in Alaska and honor our military families for Veterans Day. Although the event was not widely publicized, that didn't stop the press from making sick accusations against the First Lady after watching her play with the military kids. But, don't worry, Flotus had a perfect response to the Trump haters, shutting their mouths and making them look like fools. Melania Trump's dream was not to be in politics, but she fully supported her husband and his calling to serve as president. After one year, she is really coming into her own in her role as first lady. Not a professional political, like Michelle Obama or Hillary Clinton, Melania came to the White House not seeking the limelight or having a secret personal agenda. So, when she decided to leave Asia early and stop in Alaska for the Veterans Day events at Joint Base Elmendorf Richardson in Anchorage, it was not widely publicized. In fact, the media only had 24 hours notice of the First Lady's Alaska plan. Well, the liberal media and the Trump haters couldn't wait to turn the trip into bad headlines. Probably the most offensive report came from one Alaskan blogger with a big leftist following who claimed Melania picked out which kids could come to the event. Of course they, the kids and their parents, were hand-picked. Can't have any of those nasty kids of liberal parents getting close to the first hostage, reported the Immoral Minority, a leftist website based in Alaska. But, that's not all. The nasty report went on. I wonder if Melania felt at home here in our frigid little state. After all, this is a state fairly bulging with sexual abuse victims, and she is married to most famous abuser, sick, on the planet. I think the reason I did not know this earlier, about Melania's trip, is that our local news has turned to SHT and I have been boycotting it for several years now. No. The reason most people did not know about the trip is that it was only announced by the White House 24 hours prior. Sadly, his offensive remarks were echoed by the usual Trump haters on social media. What a ridiculous accusation. The event, in general, had been publicized on the base for weeks and was primarily for the military kids. As if Melania's staffers had any way to do a poll and make sure only Trump supporters were allowed into the event is laughable, and to imply the First Lady would deny kids entrance into an event based on politics is sick. The mainstream media decided to focus on Melania's coat, of course. Her wardrobe, which is stunning, is the only thing they can gripe about, that is how well she is doing. The 47-year-old First Lady looked cozy, yet chic as she stepped off the aircraft in Anchorage in a $2,690 Ralph Lauren down coat and headed to meet with children who participate in the Pause to Read program at the military base, reported Daily Mail. The Trumps are billionaires, and President Trump kept his word and refused the salary of the president. So, why are these idiots so shocked that Melania is wearing expensive clothes? Does that make her a bad person? Should she dress in a sackcloth as she represents the United States? Melania's response was all actions and no words. We all know politicians are all words and no actions and talk is cheap, and so does the First Lady. All she had to do was put out a short video showing the joy on the kids' faces while she spent time with them, and that shut all the haters' mouths. You can't make kids fake the kind of fun they were having with the First Lady. Her video, which she put out via Twitter, went viral. She wrote, Wonderful to spend time with military families at Jberhash, Alaska. Thank you for your service. Hash Happy Veterans Day. Wonderful to spend time with military families at Jberhash, Alaska. Thank you for your service. Hash Happy Veterans Day pic.twitter.com web link. Melania Trump, at FLOTUS, November 11, 2017. Fox News reported, Paige Wise and her husband, Air Force Tax Sergeant Matthew Wise, brought their four-year-old son Brantley so he could make a fish with the First Lady. They found out about Trump's visit Thursday and tried to explain to their son who she was. He made the correlation when she explained to him that the visitor is the president's wife, and then he became excited. He was like, oh, wow. Okay, she said. 
Melania is drawn to children and seems most at ease when she is one-on-one -on -one interacting with kids with no fanfare or a lot of press. It's a big deal to our military troops and their families when President Trump or the First Lady take time to visit them. It may seem like a small thing, but it's not. Their presence shows the gratitude of our entire nation for those sacrificing everything to keep us safe, and that is not something any patriotic American would ever belittle. Share the story and leave a comment by clicking one of the buttons below. Follow us on Facebook at Mad World News.